Sylvester's Circle. I use Native American tarot. I have used other tarot decks, but I found Native American tarot to be my absolute favorite when working with clients. Okay, what I do is I get the client to shuffle the cards and infuse their energy into the cards. I then get the client to choose 10 cards and put the 10 cards on top of each other so that I'm able to put them into the medicine wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once they've chosen the ten cards, I then take the cards and I change the order. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. I then lay them out into the medicine wheel. Okay, so I do one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, normally I would type up the reading as the client is shuffling the next lot of cards, which is the sacred path cards. They would shuffle and then choose ten, doing exactly the same on top of each other. Choose 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I would put those into the ladder spread, which I will do in a minute. Okay. And I will also get the client to shuffle the Crystal Alley cards and choose just one. The Crystal Alley cards gives the client an element to work with, a crystal to work with, and the chakras that need to be worked with, and also an affirmation that they can use daily in their life to improve their journey. Starting with the Native American cards, we have got one of vessels we've got hoist and coyote which is one which is similar to the magician we also have the five of vessels which is warrior woman we have the warrior of vessels and we have shields one we have the weaver which is 14 okay we have six the lovers 18 the moon 20 judgment we have three of shields which is the craftsman so what i do is i actually don't read how would you normally read the traditional tarot i read what i see and what i get and normally i'll just type it up as i go but i'm just going to talk about it today today i've got the one of vessels so i say that emotionally they're trying to get their emotions under control which i've been trying to do but it's about using the tools that I've been given and also the skills I have so that I'm able to balance out my life because I'm stronger than I realize. It's about allowing myself to watch and receive the flow of the emotion. And it's about getting a kickstart to um, financial and my health being. It's about creating my own own life which is really important and it's about the relationship I'm in at the moment it's about acknowledging that with the moon there it's about acknowledging the cycles that I'm in and the loyalty that's in my life and it's about being loyal to myself being honest with integrity about acknowledging where I am now judgments also about knowing about not being judgmental about the situation maybe acting with a little bit of discernment um, 
that things are happening maybe as they should be happening and that um, also to acknowledge my skills where I'm headed um, how I can update my skills is really important too then I look at numerology I look at the numbers that I've got I've got a lot of ones so it's obviously a beginning of a new journey for me which is really important and I've got four or five that's twos nothing else really stands out it's really just ones so it's obviously a new a new journey for me which is really important um, there's quite a few majors in the cards so that means that I'm having a major influence in my life there's some major stuff happening which is really really important um, a bit of shields and stuff I can see in there quite strongly so it's obviously something to do with my career my health and vessels being quite emotional so that just gives you a little bit of a basic overview of the Native American tarot, just really, really quick. Okay, Sacred Path cards. I've got here a medicine bundle, which is allies and support. Um, power place, which is about earth connection and empowerment. Painted faces about self-expression. War bonnets about advance. Steam sweat lodge is about purification. Power hour is about sharing. Um, we shields about introspection and goals. Giveaway ceremonies about release. Stone people's about records knowing and revealed. Moon lodge is about retreat. So it's talking about that I've got support and needing to be connecting to Mother Earth and stuff again. It's about expressing who I am, being honest. It's about moving forward in my life. It's about having that sort of cleansing process, letting go of old stuff so that new stuff can move in. It's about sharing my journey, about working towards my goals. It's about releasing all that stuff that I need to release. It's about records, things being revealed, that stuff knowing going on. But taking a step back and looking at a picture from the whole point of view. Okay, the Crystal Alley card that I have, which I've just got to shuffle and choose, is about alternative realities. And the crystal is a zetalite. And it's the spirit, which is the storm. So things are going to happen quite quickly in relation to connecting to the alternative realms called alternative realities and then I look in the book which gives me the chakra I need to work with and a, and a message as well as the affirmation that I could use okay so basically it's the chakras our third eye crown and etheric and my affirmation is I perceive my reality in the light of the divine and it talks about coming to aid you in perceiving the many levels of reality that surround you. Through the exploration of these realities, you can gain the insight and understanding necessary to manifest your purpose on earth. Open yourself to the kingdoms of earth, the light beings of the spiritual realms, and to your own self. This alley has come to facilitate your awakening to your true self and your place in the web of light that surrounds you. So be aware of subtle impressions, dreams, feelings, or other indicators that a message is being sent to you from other levels of reality. It may be that you are being prepared for contact by beings from another realm. In the coming times, we will need to rely upon these messages in order to survive. Open yourself now to the signals and messages of these realms so that you can become a voice for these beings in the coming times. And it's quite nice with the Crystal Alley card to be able to meditate with it. So you sit and you look at it and you really connect with the card and you allow yourself to travel into the card and connect and see and absorb the um, crystal energy from it. That will help with your chakras that you need to work on and help you change um, on a positive level with your message and your affirmations. Hope that's in some insight into the Native American tarot. If you'd like to know any more, please leave me, leave me a message and I'll reply as soon as possible. Thank you, blessed be.